I think the cost is actually not going to be uh, crazy high, um, like less than a car. Not $150,000 like the Unitree robot, nor $75,000 like Boston Dynamics robot dog. Tesla Optimus, as Elon Musk claims, is priced at less than half the cost of a car. This will completely shock you, as an incredible technology like Tesla, equipped with AI and full self-driving capabilities, is expected to be priced under $20,000. So what makes Tesla Optimus so highly anticipated? That's what we'll dive into in today's episode. And welcome to Techno Creators. Before we begin, please help us reach 1,500 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great tech episodes. How does Tesla provide power to Optimus? Based on Tesla's revealed plans to use its 4680 cells to power the Optimus robot, some believe this design might not be the most efficient for a humanoid robot. While the robot's body is large enough to accommodate 4,680 cells, it may require a significant number of cells to achieve the necessary voltage. It is evident that Optimus is equipped with 90 cells of 4,680 batteries. This Tesla battery technology allows the robot to operate for 12 hours in a home environment, such as moving around the kitchen, cleaning the living room, or simply caring for the elderly or young children. After every 12 hours of operation, Optimus can automatically connect to an in-home charging station and take about one hour to recharge before resuming its tasks. Operating continuously throughout the day does not affect Optimus's functionality, as it is simply a robot, unlike humans. Tesla could utilize higher voltages to make Optimus operate more efficiently, but 48 volts is not an arbitrary choice. This is the threshold where electricity becomes hazardous to humans, so Tesla would avoid exceeding this value. Even at 48 volts, Optimus's battery pack will require some form of redundancy in case certain cells fail. Ideally, it should have multiple 48-volt modules connected in parallel to enhance output capacity and ensure backup power. Tesla claims that the Optimus battery will have a capacity of 2.3 kilowatt hours. Assuming an estimated capacity of 26 ampere hour for the 4,680 cells, two 48 volt modules connected in parallel would be required to achieve the 2.3 kilowatt hours capacity. Using 2,170 cells with approximately 5 ampere hour capacity would require 10 modules or 5 times the number of cells. While this approach would make the system more flexible and improve thermal management, it would also increase costs. This is why Tesla opts for larger cells for the robot, especially since they can produce them in large quantities at the Giga Nevada facility. Initially, it's no surprise that Tesla has considered using lithium iron phosphate batteries for the next generation Tesla bot. LFP cells are about one third cheaper than NMC cells, but have lower energy density. However, recent advancements in LFP tech and have improved these cells to a level where they can compete more effectively with nickel-based cells. CATL, a leading manufacturer of LFP cells, has partnered with Tesla. Yet, recent reports suggest Tesla is relying on CATL to supply LFP batteries for its $25,000 Model 2 vehicle. This indicates that Optimus will likely not use LFP cells, as reducing the number of batteries required for the robot would help alleviate concerns about supply shortages for Tesla's robotics production. For Optimus to be truly useful as an assembly line robot in a factory, it needs sufficient battery capacity to sustain a full eight-hour shift of continuous operation. Compared to working at home, Optimus would need to perform much more intensive tasks in a factory setting which would drain its energy more quickly. However, with current fast charging capabilities, Optimus would only require about 30 minutes of charging to have enough energy for the next shift. Additionally, Tesla is likely to deploy multiple Optimus units, forming a replacement workforce so that when one group of Optimus robots is recharging, another is ready to step in, ensuring uninterrupted production in the factory. What makes Optimus's 20-year lifespan each Tesla product carries a powerful mission, sustainability, 
and the ability to maintain performance over time. Optimus, Tesla's pioneering robot, is not only a leap forward in technology, but also a symbol of the company's long-term commitment. Elon Musk and the Tesla team have set an ambitious goal to develop a robot capable of continuous use for 15 to 20 years. An impressive lifespan considering real-world testing, material durability, and the exceptional technological performance Tesla has applied. Experts agree that a 20-year lifespan for Optimus is a remarkable achievement, especially given the robot's need to operate seamlessly in both harsh industrial environments and everyday home settings. For comparison, Boston Dynamics, despite being a well-known name in robotics research and development, produces robots with an average lifespan of 5 to 10 years, nearly four times shorter than Optimus, even after investing over a decade in research. So, what makes Optimus so durable? It all comes down to Tesla's careful selection of high-quality materials optimized for the robot's design. The 7075 aluminum alloy, chosen for its outer shell, delivers an exceptional strength-to-weight ratio, while a high-fatigue-resistant composite plastic ensures that Optimus not only maintains long-lasting durability, but also delivers stable performance for years without succumbing to wear and tear. In contrast, Boston Dynamics Atlas Robot uses titanium and aluminum to enhance durability, but titanium, though strong, adds weight, which compromises speed and flexibility. Additionally, the 3D printed parts of Atlas may face issues with uneven durability, reducing load bearing capacity. By combining aluminum alloys with composite plastics, Optimus achieves the perfect balance of strength, lightweight design, and flexibility overcoming the weight and durability limitations found in other materials. Beyond material design, every moving part of Optimus, from joints and gears to motors, is meticulously crafted using premium materials such as aluminum alloys, stainless steel, and composite plastics. These materials minimize friction, ensure stable performance, and extend the lifespan of mechanical components while reducing the need for maintenance, allowing the robot to operate continuously without major technical failures. Optimus is also equipped with an intelligent control system that learns and adapts over time. This not only enhances the robot's performance day by day, but also reduces mechanical wear, improving the overall durability of the system. As a result, Optimus becomes more refined over time, growing more resilient and offering long-term value to its users. A key contributor to Optimus's longevity is Tesla's 4680 battery technology, which optimizes performance over an extended period. The 4680 battery is designed to reduce the frequency of battery replacements, saving on maintenance costs while providing a longer-lasting power source. Additionally, Optimus's charging system is optimized to minimize charging time and improve usage efficiency. This ensures that Optimus can operate continuously without facing battery degradation, an essential factor in preserving performance and extending battery life. Finally, one of the clearest examples of Tesla's commitment to sustainability is the original Tesla Roadster. Even though it was first produced in the early 2000s, many of these early Roadsters still operate smoothly after 15 years, clearly demonstrating that Tesla products are built to endure the test of time and maintain their performance long term. How confident is Optimus in its mobility capabilities? Recently, Tesla has dispelled rumors and online skepticism about Optimus's autonomous capabilities during its Q4 product launch event. A video update was posted just a week after the company's We the Robots event, showcasing several Optimus robots walking around and interacting with attendees. First, it's clear that Optimus's walking speed looks incredibly natural, reaching 4 miles per hour even though it's slightly slower than the average human walking speed of 6 miles per hour. With its meticulously designed feet, the robot's foot base provides stability, closely resembling the average human foot, around 10 to 12 inches long and 4 to 5 inches wide. This size improves its mobility and adaptability to various terrains. Tesla has also incorporated an ankle-like joint that enhances stability and flexibility, allowing Optimus to move more easily upstairs. Check out this clip, it's truly remarkable. Given that Tesla only announced its humanoid robot development plan three years ago, the progress made in such a short time is nothing less than impressive. 
Tesla plans to start selling Optimus in quarter 2 2025, with an initial production run of around 5,000 units. Reports suggest that the cost of producing each robot has decreased by 15 to 20 percent annually, but in reality, the reduction is closer to 40 percent, bringing the price down to between $30,000 and $150,000 per robot. This price range aligns closely with CEO Elon Musk's previous projections for Optimus. Over time, production will ramp up and the price is expected to drop further to around $20,000 for the base model. However, with the advanced capabilities of Optimus Gen 2, this $20,000 version may be the most basic option, with premium models potentially ranging from $40,000 to $90,000 over the next five years. At these price points, Optimus will likely offer even more useful features and aesthetically superior materials. Have you ever wondered how Optimus can autonomously navigate and avoid obstacles so accurately after watching this video? The answer lies in the advanced technology Tesla has implemented in Optimus's neural network. With a powerful real-time processing system and 2D cameras that give it a full view of its surroundings, Optimus can easily identify obstacles and plan an optimal route for its tasks, all while navigating its environment autonomously with remarkable precision. Notably, Optimus's neural network has seen a 30% improvement compared to its predecessor, making it more efficient and intelligent than ever before. While Tesla has only been in the robotics industry for less than three years, and competitors like Boston Dynamics have decades of experience, Tesla has already proven it can compete at the highest level. In reality, since Tesla also has to focus on its car production, resources for Optimus have not been maximized. Nevertheless, Elon Musk's strong commitment to the project is evident through regular updates and technological improvements. This demonstrates that Tesla is truly serious about the project and poised to tackle the challenges ahead rapidly shaping the future of the robotics industry. What's new with the Optimus charging system? At first, we assumed Optimus would inherit the same charging system as Tesla's electric vehicles, but no, what we saw in the video was a completely different charging station. When Optimus's battery drops to 15%, the LED lights on its head turn red, and its neural network signals the drive motors to move it toward the charger. What's particularly surprising, as shown in the video, is that the charging port is located on Optimus's back, a place we wouldn't normally expect. With this rear-facing connector design, the camera system must operate with incredible precision to autonomously locate nearby charging stations and connect without error, preventing any damage to the charging port. Once charging is complete, the LED light turns green, indicating the battery is fully charged. Optimus then automatically disconnects from the wall charger and returns to its tasks. It's crucial to emphasize that this entire process is fully autonomous. No human intervention is required. If we take a closer look at Tesla Optimus's charging system, we can see a perfect blend of mechanical and electronic technology. This is the key factor that allows the charging system to precisely manage the battery's energy intake while protecting it from overloading. During the charging process, Optimus is essentially recharging its own energy, resting and recovering from tasks while preventing overheating, ensuring the motors run smoothly and safely. With this new charging design, Tesla isn't just optimizing performance. They're also enhancing convenience for future owners. Optimus can autonomously locate and connect to the charging station, whether the environment is familiar or unfamiliar. This is reminiscent of the self-charging feature of the CyberCab, which made a strong impression during its earlier unveiling. It's a clear testament to Tesla's success in implementing automation technology, and it's bound to drive significant breakthroughs in the robotics industry in the years to come. How does Optimus develop shared understanding? One remarkable aspect of Tesla's development of Optimus is the simulation of how these robots build shared understanding with each other. This means that each Optimus doesn't just learn through human interaction, but also creates a knowledge map to share lessons and experiences with other Optimus units. Even when working in different environments, these robots automatically update and adjust their behavior based on shared lessons from previous interactions, thanks to their ability to exchange data and mutual understanding. This is an incredible breakthrough. It's like family 
or friend group chats on social platforms like X or Instagram, where we share information and quietly learn from one another without direct guidance. In Optimus's case, this learning process is not only fast but also highly efficient, allowing the robots to continually improve and optimize their actions in the work environment. This capability is similar to Tesla's self-driving technology, allowing Optimus to operate in complex environments like factories or warehouses without human supervision. The ability for these robots to share mapping data between them enhances collective intelligence, boosting the overall system's performance and enabling Optimus to work more flexibly and efficiently. We hope you learned more about the Tesla Optimus robot after watching this episode. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Techno Creator family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss any of our awesome videos by clicking the bell icon. We appreciate your feedback and time. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon. Until then, stay safe and have fun.